All right, Shalom. Wall. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, the bonders to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that taught us his truth, and do with well, Brakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani and Wa'akim, the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh in truth, and in sincerity. Shalom to the predestined elect. Today is uh, December. Uh, 13, 2021, the year of hastening, the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, this article just popped up, you know, no longer than uh, five minutes ago. All right, and as you can see, it's from uh, USA Today. And it's titled, uh, Kentucky Governor Confirmed 64 Dead After Devastating Weekend Tornadoes. And he's uh, quote, he said, quote, undoubtedly, there will be more. All right, and... um. You know, this is the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son. And for those, all right, that don't know, all right, the scripture saying First Samuel two and six. All right, matter of fact, I can uh, go ahead and get that real quick. Okay, and then I have the etymology of this word here, decimated. Okay, and then I have a, a video clip. Okay, uh, a few uh, scriptures, and we can go ahead and close out uh, right to the point. Uh, the scriptures say in uh, Zephaniah 3 and 5, the just Lord, all right, is in the midst thereof. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. And what does that judgment consist of? First Samuel 2 and verse 6. The Lord Yahweh, all right, killeth. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord Yahweh, Bashmir Shai, maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifted up so that's the, the point is verse six all right the most high yahweh there was only begotten son yahweh shai is the one who is taking people out okay and as we get closer and to, closer to the end all right a lot of people are going to go out by huge numbers now the reason why i want to get this uh definition for decimate is because of the title of this video all right it says tornado and this is some usa today too it says, Tornado leaves Mayfield, Kentucky decimated. All right. Tornado leaves Mayfield, Kentucky decimated. All right. Now, when you look this word here, decimated up, okay, it's been loosely, uh, you know, it's loosely, you know, used in etymology. All right. As you can see right here, loosely uh, being used, right, today. Okay. But really, this is what it really means. Decimate verb from the 1600s to select by lot. Okay. And put to death every 10th man. All right. From Latin decimatus, past particle of decimary, quote, the removal or destruction of one tenth from decim, quote, 10. So decim is 10. Right. It says, um, the, this is the point. It says the killing of one in 10 chosen by lots. Yeah. So. Yahweh being a supreme judge, the omnipotent power, the supreme being, who's a so-called black man, so-called Negro, all right, that sitteth in the heavens, man, all right, who is issuing out, okay, this judgment that's taking place upon the planet Earth, okay, which is where judgment is played out, okay, or your life is played out, and the Heavenly Father judges you, man, according to uh, uh, you, whatever you have done. So it says chosen by lots, yeah, lots, when you look that word up in etymology, it means portion. So whatever portion was distributed unto you, you have to live it out, man. Okay? So it says the killing of one, and we just read First Samuel, uh, Samuel 2 and 6, where it says the Lord killing, killeth. All right? The Lord Yahweh killeth, man. So all that, oh, why? Oh, she had to go so, oh, God, why me? No, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is judging, man. He's the one killing, man. And that's straight out of the Bible, man. It says the killing of one in ten chosen by lots from a rebellious city. Okay, it's not Babylon the Great, which is Amer uh, call, uh, so called America, so called USA, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, according to the scriptures, a rebellious uh, city, man. Okay, that great city, you see? All right, it says a rebellious city or a mutinous army was a punishment sometimes used by the Romans. It says the word has been used loosely and unetymologically to the irritation of pendants. All right, but check this out. Since 1660, 
It says, for, quote, destroy a large but indefinite number of people. All right. Of, of meaning of people, man. Destroy a large but indefinite number of, man. Okay. So, once again, let's go ahead and, um, before I actually play that clip here, let me just go ahead and play this real quick. Salaki, let me uh, pause it because it's, uh, it's getting ready to play a, a commercial. I lost everything in my apartment, even my car. And people that live in the this, Once again, this is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Shai, judging. All right? Rebellious cities, man. Where majority of you uh, so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native American Indians dwell, man. Okay? This is not your rest. Michael 2 and 10. This is the place of what? You're supposed to be bearing the indignation of the Lord because you've sinned against him, man. So what? In the book of uh, Amos... It says, what? You only have I known, so therefore will I punish you for all your uh, 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 wickedness, man. Your evil. Your iniquity. Okay? So we here are and ultimately we're scattered across the four corners of the earth, but chiefly here in Babylon, a great spiritually saw them in Egypt, known to you today as America, home of the slaves and land of the freaks. Not for you to be a LeBron James. Not for you to be a Usher, a Chris Brown, uh, Chris Brown man. For your remembrance to be taken out of the earth. Nah, we're sitting here for uh, judgment. We're sitting here for punishment. But the scriptures say, once the punishment of Zion is fulfill, uh, fulfilled in the book of uh, 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, okay, the affliction of Zion is fulfilled, then what? He will visit, all right, the, uh, uh, the iniquity of Esau, Edom. But judgment is out for you, Jakes, man. Pardon me with me. They lost everything too, so... I don't have anything, but what I got. And I was maybe like six miles away. It was like between 9 o'clock and 10.30. And then I hit that tornado. And it dragged me, I don't know how many meters on the road. And I was ended up in the median. My friend Roberta was buried under five feet of rubble. And her sister was on top of her and she's in Murray Hospital. And her husband's the one that came and saved her and her sister. And he saved other people from from dying under there. Um, I, I heard it go through. It was just, it was awful. I looked up. I was on the floor in the hallway. And I looked up and I seen sky. And that's not normal <laughs> at all. The whole building was just gone in shambles. There's people screaming, people trying to climb out, people who are crushed. One of one of my girls was crushed really bad. Yep, so the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is running up. <laughs> He's running up the, the death the, uh, the death score, man. You know, Jake like to talk about, oh, I'm trying to up the score. Well, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is running up the death toll, man. Psalms 148 and verse 8. Fire and hell, snow and vapor, stormy wind. Fulfilling his word. Fulfilling his word, man. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited. So how the most high pulling up? Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts. All right. Of armies, man. All right. Read this in the NLT real quick. It says, I, the Lord Yahweh, Bashmi Al Shah of heaven's armies, will act for you with thunder and earthquakes and great noise. With whirlwind and storm and consuming fire. So this is how the most high Yahweh Bashim Shai gets down. Isaiah 28 and verse 2. Behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell in destroying storms, you see, as a flood, okay, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with his with the hand. So these storms, man, these tornadoes, okay, earthquakes, all right, floods, hurricanes, you name it. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the one that's, uh, whose hand is distributing, uh, distributing, Salak is distributing, okay, the, this uh, uh, heavy destruction, okay, that is rightfully so needed on you wicked ass rebellious people, man. Isaiah 30 and 30. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 30, and the Lord Yahweh shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall shew the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger. See, so this is not it, it, you damn right. It ain't beautiful. 
This is indignation from the heavenly father, the, he the, uh, 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 the, the, the father of armies, man. And with the flame of devouring fire, with scattering and tempest, and tempest in hailstone, hailstones, man. Okay. So once again, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is taking niggas out, man. And it's only going to amplify, man. And it rightfully so, because you niggas ain't going to get it unless you get put down. That's why it's written in Second Ezra. Let's get that. You people actually up, you, you, you niggas out there in the world actually think the most high is a game. You actually think you can just call on the Lord when you want, okay? You actually believe that the most high is going to answer you when, when you need him? Yeah, how about Shemel Shah's take? Everybody got a date, nigga. All right? And, and if we be a part of the elect, we're going to make it, man. Lord's will. Why? Because we believe that we're doing what, what we're supposed to be doing according to the scriptures. The scriptures they put on the elect, man. But this is this is a scripture for you people, man. Second Ezra 9 and verse 11. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second Ezra 9 and 11. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty or had yet liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them. That's the prophet starting to elder pastor on down of Great Millstone. And Achim and his uh, spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, sound doctrine, understood not, but despised it. Yeah, you understood. You don't understand what's going on, but you look down on it. You don't understand why we out there, but you looking down on us, man. Because the word despise, when you look it up, it means to think little of or to look down upon, man. You walk past us shaking our head when we have the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 12, this is how you're going to know the Lord. The same must know it after death by pain. Death, killing, destruction, hailstorms, tempests, whirlwind, earthquakes, hurricanes. All right? All in the Bible, man. That you think little of, man. That you despise. So guess what? Since you despise the words of the Lord, how are you taking you out? 64 dead after devastating weekend tornadoes, man. I'm going to get right to the point. It says, Kentucky Governor, Governor Andy Besher, uh, Besher said Monday that 64 deaths were confirmed in his state alone and that, quote, undoubtedly there will be more. He said the victims range in age from five months to 83 years old, man. The Lord, hey, man, if, if we're talking about the, the supreme being who flooded the earth and we just read in Psalms 148, okay, that the winds obey his voice, man, and that a fun for victims will pay five thousand dollars to the families for burial expenses just to point more than 30 tornadoes late friday and early saturday also killed and a lot of us go out friday saturday sunday most high causing that judgment man call all y'all about you shine more than 30 tornadoes late friday and early saturday also killed at least 16 people in illinois tennessee missouri and arkansas man Thousands more were left homeless. Call all y'all by Shimei Shai. Many more had not heat, had no heat or water. Hell wrong with you people out here, man. This is the just. We feared much, much worse. And again, I pray it's accurate. Okay. The most high y'all by Shimei Shai is terrorizing you people, man. Waking you up out of that deep sleep, man. That you niggas in, man. Okay. Because you niggas is settled upon your leaves, man. You niggas are comfortable being slaves. So the Lord is going to have to shake shit up around here, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close out on this uh, video, though. Lord's will edifying to the elect. Tornado leaves Mayfield, Kentucky decimated. And the word decimated means to what? Destroy or, 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 or destruction upon a rebellious city, man. Okay. Chosen by a lot.
Yeah, my feels wiped. Yeah, this is Broadway Street, Mayfield. That's the post office. Post office right here. Ask, he had to ask, is this Broadway? Because the, the damn, uh, 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 <laughs> the street, uh, post, <laughs> the street post out of there, man. <laughs> I don't know what street he on, man. All right. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, call all y'all about seeing me outside, man. Lord, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, Mayfield needs some prayers. <laughs> we need prayers. Hey, man, that's it, though, man. I don't, don't want to play the whole clip. Make this video too long, you know, but, hey, that's it, bro. And 64 ain't nothing, man. That's one, uh, hey, that's like one, like I said, one of 10. So we need the whole 10th, okay? Yeah, how about Shemiel Shah is going to require, okay, a lot more deaths out here, man. By the thousands, to the ten thousands, to the millions, man. And that's when these missiles going, that's what these missiles are being made for, man. This ain't nothing. These tornadoes ain't shit. Ain't got nothing on a, on a Satan 2 missile. Hence the word Satan. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, so, you know, call all y'all about some inside the bonus to my apostles. That was great. Millstone, peace, love, insight, taste of this corny. I'll give to the elect.